Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time, hi, I am Natalie and I hope that you'll subscribe and stay a while. So I'm not gonna make any excuses about why I was gone for a couple weeks. I am just going to continue on and keep making videos and be forever grateful that y'all have stuck around and that more and more of you have come. We are almost to 10,000. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers, like my mind is my mind is blown. I am just so humbled and so grateful. I know we just did an in the dressing room for the last video that I made, but I was trying to think, I was literally laying in bed. I've been in bed all day, mental health is uh, is hard. And um, I was like, I need to make a video. Like every day it's been eating at me, I, I need to make a video. And there are a ton of videos that I wanna do, but they take more planning. And I was like, I need to make a video right now. I need to get up out of this bed. I need to put myself to work. I need to, to get on it. Inside the dressing room is very easy to do on the fly. There's no planning. It's just getting in your car, going somewhere, doing the thing and coming home. And so I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. If that if that's the two videos I make in a row, then that's the two videos I make in a row. A lot of people say they really like these videos, so I'm hoping that it will go over well. There are two, yes, I have soaking wet hair because I literally was in bed a mess and was like, I need to go. So I took a shower and got out. There are two different places that I'm thinking that I wanna go. Walmart and Lane Bryant. I think Lane Bryant will be my first, especially because they've had a little bit more buzz in the media um, with like uh, blogger collaborations coming out like I Am Beauty Curve. So I know that they've been advertising a lot on Facebook and everything. So I'm gonna go to my local Lane Bryant and see if they have some of her collection. I've been wanting to try it and show y'all around the store. Now because we're losing light and we're losing time, I'm gonna go ahead and wait to talk about my personal opinions about Lane Bryant until after. I'm hoping I have a good experience. Um, I know that their sizing can be very strange and I am gonna try to to try on some denim. I'm gonna try to try on some bras, some, obviously some tops, dresses. If they have swim would be really cool. <clears throat> Editing Natalie here, hi. Quick jump in here to let y'all know that at the time of filming, when I was going through to link everything down below, it looks like they're having a 40% off everything sale. So if there's anything that you liked that I was wearing or anything you've been curious about, now's a great time to get 40% off. It's 7.30 now, they close at 9 p.m. So let's get going. <laughs> Fun fact about Lane Bryant, it was actually my first job and I worked there for many years and in many different stores. While I can't say that it was my favorite job, I did learn a lot. And as a broke college kid, the discount was fire. Even though I've been to this mall many times, this was my first time into this Lane Bryant, and I have to say, I was really pleasantly surprised. It was a beautiful store, nice and bright, well merchandised. I felt like the denim inventory was a little thin, but they still had something in my size and the cut I wanted to try out. I was really happy to see that there was a big cacique section and actually a big active section. I did not get to try on active this night, unfortunately, but next time I do an in the fitting room for Lane Bryant, maybe next season, I definitely will try on the active and the swim. But yeah, look how big that cacique section is. It was really nice. Look how freaking cute these underwear are. I grabbed a couple pairs of these in different colors. They also had a lot of loungewear, which I grabbed some of, and I'm really glad that they're trying new things with their intimates. Simple outfit to get out the door tonight. Jeans and bag are from Eloquy. Sweater is from ASOS and shoes are from Rothy's. I'll link everything down below. Grabbed a bunch of different things to try on. Some jeans in a couple different styles, some shorts, some bras, a bunch of dresses, tops, plain t-shirts. Let's get trying on and you know what time it is. Hair mode, engage. 
Starting out with a super simple, basic, a plain t-shirt. Grabbed gray because it was the only one in my size, which was an 1820. I was really impressed by their t-shirts. I felt like they were very well made. Wonderful fabric, nice and thick. They do come down nice and long, but I tend to tuck in my shirts because so I was kind of, you know, testing that out. I was really impressed by the quality of their shirts. And now for something very not basic. It's a fun play on the structured button up. It was like this impure waist button up with like a coattail. I don't even know how to describe it, but I loved it. This with obviously a pair of jeans or some slacks is super smart and really nice. I didn't know at first if it was a dress or a shirt, but I was like, that's a little too, uh, too short to be a dress, but I loved this. Hidden buttons, nice and high collar. The sleeves were perfect and in a size 22, this fit like a glove. I say this with love about this dress. This reminds me of some of the old moo's my mom has, but in the best way. I love the dolman sleeve. I love the v-neck. I actually really liked this dress. Now, the pattern is not so much my taste, but I love the cut. If this was in a solid or a floral all over print that I really like, I could see me grabbing this. The material is like a thicker, satiny stretch material. This will be awesome for spring. It was super comfy. I went ahead and wanted to show y'all too what it looked like if you didn't belt it. It's kind of just like an oversized kind of shift dress at that point. I'd also like to sincerely apologize. I totally forgot to do the sit test in this video. I like how I came up with that idea and then immediately forgot it. But I promise any fitting rooms where it does have an option for me to sit down, I will do a sit test in the future. And now for probably my favorite piece that I tried on of the whole day was this beautiful yellow floral kind of flouncy off the shoulder dress. The way that this is cut just made me literally just wanna spin and dance and really enjoy the frills at the bottom. While this particular floral is not my favorite, the cut of this dress was beautiful. The fabric was lovely. Like this is a beautifully made dress. I'm wearing an 1820 and it was absolutely comfortable. It's got a stretchy um, waistband. I really wish this came in other patterns or colors because I could see me absolutely buying this. I was in love with it. Everything about it was super comfy. And now for floral in a completely different way. This mesh overlay has these beautiful flowers kind of embroidered all over it and it sits over a slip dress that in this case is attached to the mesh overlay. This is lovely. I could see this being really beautiful for like a wedding, especially like an evening wedding. And I really like how you can kind of see your chest and your arms and your back through the top. I think that's a little like really sexy touch. I loved this dress. Um, I've owned dresses like this in the past. I actually think I still have them. And it just, there's something about it that makes you feel really saucy and sexy. I'd also like to give a special shout out to these dressing rooms. The dressing rooms were awesome, nice and bright, big bright mirrors, a lot of space. Thanks so much, Lane Bryant, I really like that. Here are some denim shorts I'm trying on. It has this fun like little extra crochet at the bottom by the raw hem, just for a fun kind of summer vibe. These were called the girlfriend shorts. I'm assuming that's because they are kind of oversized in the leg. Now, what's strange is that it really sat and hugged at my belly, but you can see they're not tight on me. Like there's a lot of extra fabric. I think just this particular cut of short is not the best for my body, which is totally fine. Now I know that this pair of shorts doesn't work for me, but definitely if you hold a lot of weight in your legs or you like um, some extra room down there, the girlfriend shorts may work out really awesome for you. But maybe not for me. I'm trying on these jeans in a size 24 because that's the only size that they had in the store besides a 14. I would really ideally love to have tried them on in a 22. I feel like they, it just, 
it definitely would have fit me better as you can see there's a lot of room but I really loved the jagged hem at the bottom with the pearl detail I never thought I would like you know jeans like that but once I tried them on I thought that they were really cute um they were really nice stretch to the jeans I liked the length especially for somebody with short legs like me it worked out great um I might order these online it's got a good rise and everything So here was Lane Bryant's high-waisted super skinny jeans. Now, as you can see down at the ankle, I actually did have some leftover room. Not the end of the world, they'd be cute cuffed. I didn't notice any like varying lengths in the store, so I don't know if these come in like a petite and a tall online. Past the butt test looked really nice. The rise was high, but I feel like the Eloqui jeans I came in were actually higher rise, but these are totally fine. What I liked about these was the color. A deeper wash like this is really good for like a work environment or if you're trying to really dress up your denim. I, I liked these well enough, but I think of the two, I'm still, I'm still really loving the pearl. And as always, I like to think that we're grown-ups here. I wanted to show y'all one of the new bras that they have. This is actually a wire-free bra, and I liked it enough that I bought one of them. Alrighty, so I am back in my car after my inside the fitting room in Lane Bryant. And you know what? I will be complete 100 and come out and say that I had a lot of preconceived notions about what I thought I would find as far as the items themselves, the prices, all of that stuff. I, I kind of went in with a little bit of a stank attitude. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know, I assumed I would hate everything and it would be ill-fitting, all of that kind of stuff. And I am going to be the... Hi. <laughs> I will be the first one to admit I was totally wrong. The point of these videos is not to showcase Natalie's style or Natalie's preferences necessarily. The point of these videos is to show you my experience and how a range of items work. Now, most of what I tried on today and put in my video are not necessarily my style. But I have to be super honest when I say that I was really surprised at how beautifully things fit and how beautiful they felt. I feel like everything I put on from the simplest of t-shirt to the bras to the dresses to the jeans felt really, is there a motorcycle convention? <laughs> felt really nice. The yellow dress that I tried on, the really flouncy one, if that had come in like a solid red or a solid black or even um, a pattern that I liked, I probably would have grabbed that. It fit beautiful and I, uh, beautifully and I felt beautiful in it. Even if things, like I said, weren't my style, I... I have to say that that was a great experience as far as the way things fit. The sizing was better than I thought it would be, and I honestly feel like it was more consistent than Torrid. Even back in the day, I obviously, as most humans do, I have a bigger bottom than I do top. I tend to wear anywhere from an 1820 in like a t-shirt from um, Lane Bryant, or a 2224 in something more structured on top. On bottom, I used to be like a 26, um, maybe even 28, but I feel like over the years, I really feel like their denim cut got better. Um, I was wearing a 22 today. Um, you'll see in the shorts that, or even I guess in the jeans too, it almost appeared like they were tight in my belly, but I could grab extra fabric. So it's not the size that was off, it was maybe the cut and how that cut fit on my particular body shape, which is fine. But overall to say, I was much more surprised at their denim fit and liked it more than I do Forever 21 or more than I did Target. And I have nothing bad to say, really, honestly. And the prices, I thought the prices were gonna be out of this world as far as expensive. Um, expensive relatively, you know, for a, a walk-in brick and mortar retail store. They were very comparable to Torrid. I honestly feel, I feel like it was the same sales as always. There was no sales that I saw on denim. I didn't see any sales on, you know, any other sleep or anything, but I'm sure online that there are different sales. 
I did end up picking up some stuff. I picked up some underwear, which I usually do if I go inside of Elaine Bryant. I'll grab some underwear. And I picked up a bra. You'll see the bra that I tried on. It is one of their new underwire free, like, structured bras. It looks like it would have an underwire, but it doesn't. And I really liked it. It was super comfortable. So I ended up grabbing a solid black in that bra. And um, let me go ahead and show you. I grabbed a solid black. So see how it looks like it appears that there will be an underwire, but there's not. So it has a little bit of padding, not to add any bulk or size, but more to add structure and stability. It's cute black with a little pink um, bow on it. And the back is actually a racer back. I find this is really comfortable. I like this, especially in like, just for casual wear and this takes a little bit of weight off of my shoulders so i like this it's really cute then i grabbed a bunch of underwear and i grabbed these cute shorts actually where are they look at these little sleep shorts they remind me of the calvins but they're obviously cacique and they're just little like little sleep shorts super comfy stretchy gonna be nice and like lightweight for the summer i'm all over the place because i'm out of <laughs> practice filming but like I said, I had a, a good experience with the clothes. Um, did I grab everything I bought or I tried on? No, but even down to the t-shirt was awesome quality. It reminds me a lot of the Universal Standard t-shirts, which I love. I, you know, thoughts about Universal Standard aside, I really feel like the t-shirts there and then the t-shirts at Lane Bryant are great quality. They're a little bit thicker. They're not going to just wear out after one wear. It's not like torrid shirts that I see. Great structure, great fit, super soft. I liked them. I tried on a gray in the store because it was the only color that had um, my size in 1820. Um, but if they had had some black and white in the store, I may have grabbed it. I'm not really in need of it right now. So now I know that those fit really well. And if I need some t-shirts in the future, I'll probably grab some. I also had a weird experience at the cash wrap. So I was the only one in the store uh, except for this one couple that popped in for like 30 seconds and then two women right before I left came in to pay a bill. I was completely alone. The girl, and it was like 8.30, like it was still 30 minutes until they closed. The girl behind the cash wrap told the other one, hey, will you please turn, will you turn off the music, or no, not even will you, turn off the music. And the girl goes, what time is it? And the girl checks it and she tells her, and you could tell the other girl was like, it's still kind of early, but she did it anyway. And under her breath, whenever the girl at the cash register heard the music go off, she goes, oh, thank fucking God. Like loud enough for me to audibly hear her cuss and say the F word to my face, a customer. She doesn't know who I am. I could be... Uh, you know, a higher up in the company. I could be, I could, I don't know. I could be offended by those kinds of words. I'm not offended by the F word whatsoever. I probably use it more than I should. But the fact of like, I'm a customer and you don't know me. I don't know if it's cause I'm, I look younger and I have a nose ring. So she thinks like I'm, she's comfortable in front of me. I don't know. And then when I, you know, I talked about those women that came in to pay a bill. They, they walked in it, the cash, the cashier process took a little bit because um, they had to look at my credit card and all that kind of stuff. So it was like 8.45 when those women came in and the, the girl literally audibly loud goes, are you fucking kidding me? When those women walked in and then she's like, are you fucking kidding me? And then she's like, hi ladies, how can I help you? And you know, she's like, are you in looking for something? Or are you just paying a bill? And they're like, oh, we're just paying a bill. She's like, okay. And then she, she like kind of cuts back to me and was like, fuck. Like multiple times cussed in front of me. What? <laughs> that was really strange. She wasn't very nice. She didn't, nothing, she didn't say anything to me that she didn't have to. And I get it. Like people that work in retail I worked in retail for a long time it sucks especially at the end of the day you want to get out of there I get it like I absolutely get it but like I don't know 
I don't know. I have a hard time with the with the idea of like having to do things you don't want to do just because it's your job or like I was being pleasant to her I didn't have like a standoff I don't think I have a standoffish aura or anything but she just like was not having it she was like what's your phone number how are you paying okay I was just like all right fuck me right <laughs> oh my gosh but so there was that oh and um I hesitate to put this in it's just something honestly like it was an observation both of the employees were very thin the only two employees in the store very thin like the girl who was at the cash wrap I, I would estimate is probably a size zero size two now all this to say that's rad just because it's a plus size store doesn't mean that thin people can't work there especially in the way that like an exclusively thin store should hire plus size people you know that's it's literally just an observation but it also subconsciously and this is something i guess i need to retrain my brain i didn't feel comfortable asking them anything about fit anything about um sizing things like that and that's that's my bad for being um uh judgmental that they wouldn't know anything about that or you know that's that's all on me and I, I take full responsibility for that, for that. But I just wanted to let y'all know that that was the case. It was just interesting. I have never, I've never experienced that at Elaine Bryant. I can't say I've been to Elaine Bryant in a hot while, but overall thoughts, um, they were really positive. Even if things weren't my style, the fit was great. I was not outraged by the prices. I thought that the cuts were beautiful. I thought that the materials felt really nice. Like every piece felt like it was well made. I I have no complaints. I really wanted to try on some of the I Am Beauty Curve collection, but they only had two of the dresses um, and they were in the leopard, which I wanted to try, but they only had a 14 or a 28. And so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to try it on, but yeah, so I will at least peruse their website a little bit more instead of just completely disregarding them as an option. So that's cool. And, you know, like I said, I still stand behind them as far as bras and underwear. I like them. Um, and I would say that my only... It's not even a complaint because, like I said, it's, it's really neither here nor there was my experience with the employees. You know, these videos are about my shopping experience and that was part of it. But, you know she's a human being maybe she was having a really bad day and was having you know a, a rough time and she didn't offend me it was just more of an observation again thank you so much for watching i super appreciate you taking time out of your day to come hang out with me i really hope that if you're not you will subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know whenever i upload give me some comments down below if you shop at lane bryant and what your favorite things are there i really wish i could have tried on some um activewear and some swim but next time that i go there to do it inside the dressing room i'll make sure to do so i was just running out of time tonight thank you so much for watching watching and I will see you next time.